A guy just brought into my shop a 23 window 1959 Volkswagen bus Samba. This thing is absolutely beautiful. But people now are actually faking 23 and 21 window buses. I have to make sure this thing's 100% legit from top to bottom. It's a nice bus, man. Thanks. When Rick called me up and told me he had a VW bus down here and a 23 window at that, I beelined it down here. That is top of the food chain for Volkswagen buses. They've just spiked recently in value and it's just been crazy. Can you take a look at it? I, I wanna know if everything's original. Give me an idea what you think it's worth. It's a European model, that's for sure. And I can see it's got the semaphores on it. You've got the fluted lenses, ceiling wax red, beige gray. It's a good looking bus. These buses came with what you, they called an M-code plate, and that gave you the day, the month it was manufactured, and what type of bus it was from the factory, in addition to country of export and things to that extent. And without a doubt, looking at the M-code plate is going to tell us if it's a real 23 window or not. OK. Well, do your magic. All right, let's take a look. Bill is literally a Volkswagen encyclopedia, so he's gonna know what to look for and make sure everything's right, because I'm more than willing to pay over six figures for this thing. So what does it say? GR here on the number plate means the, that's the export country. That's the abbreviation for Greece. Okay. Looks like you got yourself a real 23 window deluxe here. If Rick's gonna put this kind of coin down on a car, think about doing something like that, we probably should take it on a test ride. So are you okay with us taking it for a ride? Yeah, sounds good. All right, which way is the beach? <laughs> I'm a little nervous that they're out driving my $175,000 car around. If it comes back with one little scratch, they better have security available, because I'm going to freak out. It drives a little stiffer than our normal bus, but they've got a lowered front end. So it feels pretty tight. Runs good. Look at all that glass. I can see for miles. Yeah, there's no blind spots in this thing. That's for sure. What I really liked about driving that bus, it was solid, there was no rattles, everything was tight. One that's been fully restored is just a dream to drive. So, what'd you guys think? She's pretty tight. Yeah. It is really, really clean. I and mean, what do you think it's worth, Bill? I'm thinking something like this at auction is gonna sell for somewhere between 120 to 140. Really? I, I think that's a little undervalued for this bus. You gotta remember, when you take it to an auction, what you get's what you get. I've seen them go through as low as 80. You won't find them like this anymore. It doesn't get any better than this right here. It is clean, I'm gonna give you that, but uh, I think if it were running through the auction, you'd be you'd see it right there between 120 and 140. Yeah, well, that, that's your opinion of it. I think it's worth a little more. All right. Thanks, man. Hey, no problem. When Rick calls me in to give an evaluation on a car to kind of tell him what's worth, I've got to give him a fair price so that he knows if he buys it and decides he doesn't like it, he's not sunk. So what's your bottom dollar at? I want 175. You know, I probably would take 140, 150 range on it. I'm thinking more like 105. I'm thinking more around 135. I really think he's right. I think it would go for like between 120 and 140 at an auction but you're gonna have to pay to put it in that auction, and you don't know if you're gonna get it. You're like 112? Uh, 125 is the magic number. That's the, the take it or leave it number. If you change your mind, call me. Will do, thanks for your time. All right, man. I think I'm just gonna take it home and keep it for now. They keep climbing in value, and we'll see what happens in the next few years. It's really hard to let it go. Oh well, maybe next time.